Hello, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another houseplant haul for you. I haven't had a houseplant haul in quite some time because I just haven't felt like buying any plants really, but then I have ran into some luck with some pretty cool plants. Well, I think that they're really cool because African violets are one of my favorites, if not my favorite houseplant, and I ended up going to Walmart for the first time in quite a few months, but I did need to get a new ball for Thomas and like you know I was right by there but they don't have them anymore so I guess I will not be going to Walmart anymore because they don't have what I need usually <laughs> but they did have some African violets also my local nursery that has houseplants was having a little bit of a sale they had a coupon and they ended up having some really cool plants there they haven't really been having plants that I really wanted lately but I was lucky and I was able to get some that were really awesome that I'm super excited about so I guess we'll get into the haul first of all I got a pink fetonia uh, they had these plants for less than three dollars well about three dollars I guess it's 2.94 so um, this was one that I don't typically buy Fetonias because I've had one for actually a couple of years now and then I killed it this year. <laughs> um, it was purely out of accident, it just happened. And I kept it alive for quite some time but once it got really hot, my plants were having a hard time adjusting and I wasn't keeping up on it so a few of my plants did die. But this one, I just, it's pink and it's so pretty and I got to replace the other one I guess because um, I really like it and it's just so cute. It says on here that its full name is Fetonia agroneura, so, but it's a mini pink Fetonia and I think it's adorable. Also, they're called a nerve plant. And then I got this African violet and you can see that the underside of the leaves have a little bit, bit of that burgundy color. It's so beautiful. I didn't even realize it until the other day when I was sitting at my dining table where this was sitting. And I just, the way I was sitting, I was able to see underneath the leaves and I just freaked out. And my husband was like, um, you did just notice that? Like it's even in the stems. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways. I really like African violets and this color is just so beautiful. I love it when they look extra velvety and just beautiful. Oh, I love them. Then I got this double African violet and it's beautiful. It has of course just really nice bright green leaves which I think looks really beautiful and springy with these African violets. So I'm hoping that these bloom a lot during the springtime because I just love <laughs> I love this color combination for springtime. It's such a nice bright chartreuse. And then with the, the white inside of there, it's so beautiful. I love this one. And all of these are still, oops, in their plant cans just because I haven't potted them up in these, but I will be doing that soon. If you want me to do a Q&A while I pot up some of these houseplants, let me know in the comment section below and leave some questions for me. I really like this one a lot. This one has some of that pink underneath and it's veining in the leaves as well. It's so beautiful. I really like this one a lot too. It's, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of some sort of a weird lizard with the underside, <laughs> but uh, it's just so beautiful. I like it a lot. I already have a pink African violet. I have purple ones, but um, I have a pink double one, but this one is a single. So then I also got this African violet. I haven't ever had any with all this color underneath them. So this one, the veining is a little bit different. I don't know if you can tell. It's more like spider veins, <laughs> which is kind of weird to think about. But um, I do have lots of purple ones. I have like three purple ones, but this one, it has a lighter, I don't know if you can tell, that has a lighter underside to the blooms it's it's darkening up a little bit but it starts off a little bit more of a like a purpley pink can you see that at all anyways i really liked it and my other ones that are purple they've the cats knocked over the pots um and broken them apart and i've just had a little bit of issues with them and then one of them got mealy bugs and so i'm just kind of almost starting over with my African violets to a degree. So 
yeah, that's why I wanted to buy another purple one and I love the purple ones, of course. They actually had some clearance plants. My Walmart doesn't tend to have very good clearance plants, but they did for once. And this fern, it just called to me. It's, I don't know what kind of a fern it is. It reminds me of an Austral gem fern to a degree because it has really nice thick leaves, but it has that kind of Boston look, kind of. Um, I don't think it's a Boston fern and I think it's some sort of another type of a fern. But anyways, it, I'm hoping that it will stay alive really well um, because so far, like usually when you buy these in the store, they've already been crisping up here and this one wasn't. It did start crisping up a little bit in my house, but I put some moss on the top, which is the fail safe for ferns. Like if you have a fern that's struggling, put some moss on the top. It's just some preserved moss from the craft store. This is sheet moss. and. Um, see if that helps. It helps me with most of my ferns. It helps me to be able to just keep them alive and going longer and actually growing instead of just shriveling up and dying here in the high desert. Although asparagus ferns, both kinds of asparagus ferns for me, they don't seem to like it. I accidentally killed one of my asparagus ferns doing that because it held on to too much moisture. I really like ferns and I'm hoping that this one, I can find a place for it maybe in my bathroom upstairs or I don't know I'll probably just end up putting it in my living room <clears throat> excuse me then I went to the local nursery with my mom and I got some of these uh, portulacas and I just like the color I don't need any more flowers in my garden I mean I do but I don't um and so I just ended up buying these because I have been looking for some that weren't just a single color I usually like to buy a mix of them but um, there's one red one in here <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the first one that was any kind of a mixture of portulacas. I don't think it was supposed to be a mixture. I think that this just snuck in there, but I really like the variation in this. It's so beautiful. It's just like a splash. It's called Sundial Peppermint Portulaca. So. Yeah, I just think it's really pretty and I'm going to be putting this in some terracotta planters in my back porch. I guess so where I'm at. <laughs> if you've seen any of my other houseplant tours or my houseplant haul with one of these, you know that I already have a grape ivy. I think this is also called a Sissus. Um, I just have been wanting a bigger one and having the 25% off coupon, I decided to go for the splurge and I got this bigger one and it has a lot of new growth on it and I'm hoping that this one will adjust and take off faster than the smaller one did because the smaller one it took it a long time before it started growing again. It actually died off a lot right away. So I'm hoping that this one will do better because I love how these look. They're so beautiful and if it can start climbing on anything or I don't know what's gonna do but I think it'll look really beautiful and I really want some in my bathroom too. Although I'm kind of running out of room in my bathroom, so why do I keep wanting to put more plants in there? I don't know. <laughs> the benefit to these are that they are kind of like an ivy type, but they aren't actually ivy, and they aren't as prone to things like spider mites. Uh, with ivy, you need to keep them nice and cool and the humidity up a little bit, or it doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of humidity, but they do really well in places like um, by your kitchen sink or by your shower or something. So that way they get a little bit more of that humidity that helps to keep the spider mites away, but also cooler temperatures really help a lot. And usually bright in direct light. So anyways, what do I know though? I killed my, well, I didn't quite kill mine. <laughs> it was doing so well and then it got way too hot. So that's one of the things you really cannot get ivy too hot otherwise it will die or die back so far that you think that it's dead and then you just keep it on your bathroom sink for months and months while it has two little leaves and it's barely doing anything that's what i'm doing <laughs> so anyways the benefit to the cissus or the grape ivy is that it's supposed to be easier to take care of but so far for me it hasn't been easier just because i've only tried it with one plant so i'll let you know what it's like with this larger plant then i saw hoyas <laughs> um only these kind of hoyas though well actually they had some of the rope hoyas uh, they were really small like they're just like two leaves that they stuck into dirt 
and they were trying to sell for $12 and they didn't look very good and I was not about that so I just got this one what in the world is this one even called you guys um I cannot remember but this one is supposed to be really easy to take care of from what I've heard and it has nice thick full leaves I mean they're skinny but they're pretty thick so they seem they're a lot like my do I have a publicase I don't know if I have a publicalix or a carnosa but anyways uh also I have the crimson princess that one is really easy to take care of and I'm hoping that this one will be even easier because the leaves are even more succulent so I will let you know how this one does because it's going to be in all my houseplant tours unless I end up killing it which I don't think is going to happen with this one I think it'll do pretty good so I pretty much freaked out when I saw it and I had to have it and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to get or if I want to get more than one but um, I wasn't about to get greedy now because we don't get things like this here that often and it's just so beautiful and I'm I'm really thrilled to have this. Um, this one and the Grape Ivy were both $9 but then I had 25% off so I thought that was a fair price. Um, I don't know, especially for something that I can like never find around here. It's awesome. I'm really excited about this. So in my last video, you know that I was going to be doing a houseplant tour here soon, um, but I pushed that back because my um, Hoya, my Crimson Princess, my Rubra, whatever, that one actually has some blooms getting ready on it and they're just about ready to pop. So I'm going to hold off on that video until those have bloomed because, I mean, we all need to share in this moment together. <laughs> I've never had a Hoya bloom yet because I haven't had them for that long and um, yeah I'm really excited for this. I already have a guppy plant but my son wanted one as well so he picked out a little guppy plant and it's absolutely adorable of course. These are really easy to take care of. You just want to make sure that they are taken care of like any sort of um, lipstick plant. If you have those they're very similar to a lipstick plant in their care. Uh, they like to dry out a little bit before you give them more water and they like a lot of nice bright light. I do find that giving them a little bit of cactus fertilizer does help them to bloom. Cactus fertilizer is more of actually a blooming fertilizer than anything so when you give them that then it just kind of helps them to bloom a little bit better and gives them what they need for that. And of course when they bloom they have the most adorable little guppy flowers on them. Um, I have some of my houseplant tours actually have some of them blooming because they bloom quite frequently actually and they're just really fun. Sometimes you can see them or you can buy them when they're actually big hanging plants and then there's all these little guppies hanging off of them like they're like little fishies swimming in the sky. It's really cute. Are you ready for this last one? Because I was not ready. I was not prepared for this last one and oh man I well same with the Hoya these two have kind of been ones that have been on my wish list but you know I'm not actively going out and just ordering them online or anything because I don't know I just don't really like doing that necessarily I've never ordered plants online and I'm still well I did once and it didn't work out super great so I just it's not something that I've ever really done pursued further than that so I usually just get plants if they come to me and this one came my way and I am so excited. My friend gave me this plant and she had no idea what it was because her nephew gave it to her and she just was like this plant isn't really doing anything it's just growing really long like what do I do with this and I freaked out. So I looked at it and immediately I'm like she has a Monstera adansonii oh my goodness will she give me a cutting of this? Oh! <gasps> I was so excited about this plant because I've really, really, really wanted one um, for the past couple months. It's just been basically one of those things that for a while I've kind of like, well, I have like all these other vining plants are basically the same. They just don't have the fenestrations. But then I just slowly have gotten to I really, really want one. And she happened to have one that actually needed to be cut because it was growing over her fridge and into the dark and this was the end of it and it had just like one leaf was trying to grow from it and so all of this there was no leaves. It just kept growing and not producing leaves so she was worried about it. So I showed her how to take cuttings from it and so she has some propagating as well. Um, but 
this one, I was like, wow, I'll just take a good cutting of that and they'll stick it in my fish tank and I'll have some leaves here soon. I did not expect three leaves within like a month. There was one little leaf barely trying to struggle out and now I have three. Like, this is incredible. It's such a good plant. I mean, it definitely perseveres in through the face of adversity. <laughs> um, you can see how long this is. I took a cutting all the way back to the first set of leaves that were actually on it. It's a very, very happy little plant and it's doing really great in the fish tank. It is getting northern light and also some grow lights up above, which I will show you my grow lights in my new houseplant tour. I have got um, three new grow lights, but two of them are the same kind of grow light, but so I'll basically be showing you two new grow lights that I got. But, um, and I don't know, they've been working out good, I guess. They make things bright. <laughs> so I don't know if the grow light has really helped that much, but I do know that the northern light really does help push a lot of growth on my plants as well. I'm really excited about all of these and I gotta go put them all in different places in my house. But um, like I said, if you do want to see a sort of a house plant repotting video and if you want to be a Q&A video, let me know. Um, I haven't done one of those for a while, but um, if you like those, let me know and I'll do one. Um, or maybe I'll just plant them myself and not talk to anyone while I do it. <laughs> Hopefully next week we'll have a houseplant tour with some more beautiful blooms. I hope you have a really great week and I will talk to you later. Bye!